everybody, it's Shimei here once again and welcome back to Plentiful Bliss. If you're new here in our channel, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for watching my video again. I do appreciate you guys' time and effort to watch this video, so thank you so much. Anyway, in today's video, guys, I wanted to share to you what I've been up to in this past few weeks or few months. And all right, so um, on my birthday, Victor actually set up a terrarium for me. It is a 100 gallon tank of aquarium, and we made it as a terrarium. So um, he got me this Anthurium Vichii or Vichii on my birthday. And I was so happy, <laughs> of course. Who wouldn't be happy with a story of bitchy eye? I was like, I don't know if I can take care of that. And he was like, well, just tell me what to do and I will make it possible for you. So we already have Baby King with us. I brought it with me when I went to Vancouver. And the other thing we have to think about is where we're gonna place it. Well, I was looking around. I remembered that we have a lamp that we use in our wedding and we still have it. And it's perfect because it's the siding is glass and it also has like holes to ventilate the air. So I was like, okay, this is perfect. We can use this for a little while. And then when we figure out something else, then we can do it. So fast forward, we were scanning in Facebook at one point and we saw this post of a guy using aquarium to propagate all his plants inside. And I was like, that is a cool idea. So we got inspired from his work and we shifted to a terrarium. So that's when the terrarium born here in our house. <laughs> so really, <laughs> this video, this video is actually just to show you guys what kind of plants I placed in my terrarium because not all plants are good to be placed in the terrarium, such as succulents. They are not good to be there because they do not like a lot of moist. So we have a temperature gauge inside where we can see the temperature and the humidity level. Because we were trying to replicate the habitat of the tropics, so we put some elements in this terrarium and we put some birch or yeah, birch woods. Um, we have a lava rock and lava stones we also put some moss so the most important thing is we have the water system which is the fountain i actually noticed that on the first part when i was trying to propagate my manjula pothos in there they were rooting so fast and they are growing so fast it's shooting new shoots new leaves and i am so happy about that and um, we have some other rare plants inside here. I don't have a lot of rare plants, but I have some that I really love. Most of them, I really like them and they're so tiny and cute. And I think um, just having them makes me so, so happy already. So I just wanted to give you guys a tour what I have inside my terrarium. It's actually facing me. That's why I keep on looking down here. So yeah, without further ado, let's do a terrarium tour. Alright, so this is what it looks like inside. These are the plants that I placed in my terrarium. And this is the fountain that I am talking about. So having these plants in here, it actually contributed the humidity inside this terrarium. So I wanted to start right here in the right hand side corner. Okay, so let's start with this beauty right here. This is actually the philodendron pink princess that everyone wants. <laughs> Everyone's in, including me actually. This has been in my wish list for a while and I'm so happy that Green River Atelier, it's our local seller here in Terrace, um, got me one. So I thought this plant is just a regular turtle vine but then some of the leaves has this purple or pink stripe in it. So I'm not really sure what kind of plant this is. You can let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really love to learn from you. 
and seems like some of the leaves are burned so i think it needs an immediate attention so moving forward i have this monstera adansonii i got from a plant swap 10 months ago and wow when i got this plant from the plant mail i got two small adansonii leaves so obviously those two old leaves are already gone i already took them out because they turned yellow so yeah i think this is the narrow or the wide form because i have a narrow one and it really looks so different from this one so please guys correct me if i'm wrong about that statement there but this one i find it so pretty especially the veining of these leaves and the fenestrations it is so beautiful thank you for being such a beauty and then behind it would be this it's a skindapsis pictus erigrius or the silvery end that i tried propagating okay so this is one of the plants that i really really want to have a full pot of this that is the lemon lime philodendron and <laughs> i love lemon lime plants or neon plants just like this neon pothos this neon pothos looks like this but this is actually a philodendron and this is a pothos so this is the neon pothos i tried propagating i placed it in a small bottle of water or a small container of water and it's actually thriving and it really likes it being there so good job <laughs> All right, so right next to my neon pothos would be dang, 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 this one. This is the reason of them all. This is the plant that I've been talking about in my introduction. This is my baby king. It's the Anthurium vichii. Can you see the ribs? It's showing. Guys, this is a new leaf. I am so happy to see that I got a new leaf for my baby king um, when I arrived from our hunting trip it actually unfolded and i was so happy thank you so much <laughs> so this is an epiphyte and it survived with the with this moss but i think i have to repot it one day soon same goes with some other plants so this is the philodendron micans did i mention that this is a mandula pothos no anyway yeah this is a mandula pothos i do have a lot of cuttings right here before but i already send it for a swap like a plant swap and i was able to get these philodendron micans that has been in my wish list for a long time together with this <laughs> i'm so happy this one i found from facebook his name was jeff thank you jeff if you're watching and this beautiful syngonium put a fillum variegatum or a variegated arrowhead i got this from ia yeah thank you so much look how beautiful she is now so yeah so that is the arrowhead this is philodendron micans and this is the manjula pothos yes and then so this is my peppermia prostata also called as string of turtles and it's really liking it here it's giving me new shoots new leaves so i'm happy about that and then i have another Skindapsis pictus erigrius. This one actually has new growth, but I'm not gonna take it out because my variegated string of hearts is hanging in there. I'm gonna focus it nicely. There you go. So variegated string of hearts, really happy wherever she is at right now. Yeah, so the water is just over her. If I will zoom it closely, you will see roots coming out, and I really need to pot this in the soil. But I'm so happy just to look at her over there. She seems so happy dandy. And I'm just going to leave her there for a little while. This has been in my wish list for a long time. And finally, I saw a lady selling it on Facebook for a very reasonable price. So I messaged her and she sent me some. Of course, I bought it from her. So that star over there, I do not know what's the name of it. But we have a cheat sheet and this is the name it is an earth star cryptanthus perfect so that's what it's called it is so pretty look at those pink color on 
its sleeve. I love it and it really looks like a starfish or a star. And my sister-in-law gifted this to me. Thank you so much, Stella. So, let's go up. Did I mention already about this um, about this one? This is the Tradiscansha Nanook I'm trying to propagate. Before, I have full of Manjula Pothos right here. But because those are already given away for a plant swab, I replaced it with a Tradiscansha Nanook. Right beside the Tradiscansha Nanook is this Tradiscansha Zebrina, also called as a Wandering Dude. This one has an iridescent leaf. I don't know if you can see it or the camera will give justice, but this is one of the beautiful plants that I've ever met. And I really like it. I thought, I thought she's so pretty. What do you think? And then I tried propagating them. I cut them into multiple cuttings. I tried propagating them and I was able to make two glasses of cuttings, which is good. So I can give it to my friends. And then right next to it, you can see I already talked about this. This is the Cryptanthus, Earth Star Cryptanthus. Look how pretty that is. It really looks like a star, right? I love it. I'm not propagating this because it's already potted, but I like it to be here because of its color and it really blend into some other plants. Right next to it is this variegated, um, what do you call this? This is the variegated purple heart and look at this. It's already flowering. I think that flower expired already, but there's a new flower right here that's so pretty so this is the variegated purple heart also called Estradiscansia pallida variegata behind it oh there's a green leaf right here and this is actually a lemon my friend Jen gifted this to me on my birthday and it's a lemon tree I haven't had one and I'm so happy she gave me one because I've been thinking about to get one. Thanks, Jen. It's still alive. <laughs> and then right next to my lemon is this. What do you guys call this? It's the Pilea Gluca. I actually stand corrected for this because in my previous video, my house plant tour video, which I'm going to link it up somewhere here or i mentioned that this is a peppermia gluca but this is actually not a peppermia it's a pilea it's called pilea gluca or baby tears and since i put this plant here in the terrarium man it grows so fast so lush compared to what it was before or maybe i'm gonna insert a photo right here so you can see how it looks like before and then, this is the mother plant of the Tradiscansia Nanook that I'm trying to propagate right there. Since I cut it, I already see a lot of new shoots right here, which I'm so happy about. Most of them, just like this Zebrina, has a thin leaf. But this Nanook has a thick leaves. And it's so gummy and it's so beautiful. Look at those pink stripe on its leaf. Isn't it pretty? I love that so much. Okay, so right next to my Tradiscansia Nanook is another Tradiscansia. And this is the Tradiscansia Florensis Tricolor. When I bought this plant, it was labeled as a Tradiscansia Nanook. I bought it in Devon's and I was so pumped. I'm like, yes, I have a Tradiscansia Nanook. And then when I bring it home, I looked at the Nanook and it looks so different. So I'm like, um, I don't think this is the right one. But I am so happy because it looks so pretty. And among the other Tradiscansia as well, this is very, I mean, the leaf is so thin. And like with a Nanook that it's so thick. And this one might need to be repotted or I don't know but it seems like it's growing so much here inside the terrarium but it looks like some of their leaves are burnt I might need to pull them out from here or maybe because of the light it's too close to them 
So, another exciting part behind my baby tears or pilea gluca is this. Let's see, where are you? Come here. Don't hide. You're so pretty. Don't hide. Okay, there you go. So, this is a philodendron Brazil. <laughs> I am so happy because finally there's already new shoots from this plant. I got it from Carol again. Oh, Carol, I love you. You gave me so much plants. Okay, so um, it started with just four new leaves and I've been dreaming or I've been wishing for this plant to give me more leaves. So it will be like a full pot of philodendron Brazil. And since I put this here in the terrarium, it grows so much it has like this one two three four no this is an old leaf four five i'm so excited about that so yeah i i really like philodendrons so though they are my favorites okay so again last peek here in our terrarium hello baby king you're so beautiful out in sonia actually you guys are all beautiful in my eyes and especially you and you and you and you i talk to them every day and i know i'm a crazy plant lady and even though most of them are just common plants but i do love them and i treasure each and every one of them and they really make me so happy oh i forgot to mention to you guys i didn't forget that i have a propagating station but i forget that i propagated a tricolor tradiscansha right here and this one i'm gonna give this away as well to one of my friends okay so i have my terrarium there i also have some plants that i tried propagating because this is like my terrarium slash propagating station and let's start here this is one of the plants i'm trying to propagate this is the golden pothos this is an enjoy or pearl and jade pothos i'm not 100 percent what kind of pothos this is and then this one is the pink lady or calicia repens pink lady um I don't know if you can see it nicely, but it looks like that. So this is just a, yeah. So this is one of those plants that my sister-in-law gifted to me. She is so lovely. She is so giving and I really love her. And another one right here is this Fig Bambino. And look at the roots. It's crazy. Can you see that? I have to put it in the soil soon. And then right here, this is one of the plants that my friend Carol gifted me. Or, Well, Carol and I actually swapped and I made a video about it. Maybe I'll upload it one day or one time soon or one day soon. But this is one of the plants that she gave me and this is called a Hoya Hindu Row. And I'm so happy because I have one. I don't have a full pot of this plant, but this is one of the plants that I really want to get. And I'm so happy, even though it didn't grow, but I'm happy that I at least have one. So thank you so much, Carol. And then this one, this is, what do you call this? It's an avocado. <laughs> We've been trying to grow an avocado and this is the only successful one. Oh, look how cute those leaves are. I'm so happy that I finally successfully had an avocado plant. Okay, so right next to my avocado plant is this. Ta-da! It's so cute. This is a string of pearls. And I'm planning to give this to one of my friends and I just soaked it with the moss and it's actually doing pretty good so we'll leave it at that and let's arrange it nicely 
There you go. And then right here we have this Peppermia Hope or a string of coins as they say. And I hope it's gonna grow roots soon. It's I don't see any roots yet, but I'm really hoping to see one soon. So I hope I'm doing it right. And then right next to it is this Jade Pothos. So this is just a regular Jade Pothos. I am collecting different kind of Pothos. What I don't have is a Cebu Blue Pothos. If you have one and if you're in Canada, please let me know because I really wanted to have a Cebu Blue Pothos to complete my collection. So anyway, um, this is just a regular Pothos. It's full green, color green no variegation and it's called jade pothos and i like it because look at this embossed leaf of this pothos so nice i like it i like it because it makes my home more jungly so look at those root system it's crazy because i pulled it out from the soil and i transferred it to the water so okay so that's our terrarium as well as our propagating station and this is located in our room or in our guest room <laughs> if you want me to make a video about what's inside here i can definitely tour you guys around it's a little messy but whatever <laughs> and yeah i'm gonna give you guys a tour let me know in the comment section below if that interests you and i will make one for you okay <laughs> and um yeah my arms <laughs> anyway so that's a wrap thank you so much guys for watching this video i do appreciate your time and i hope you learned something from this if you find this video so interesting and someone else can uh, learn from this please do share it with your family and friends and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't yet thank you so much for watching and i hope i'm gonna see you guys again next time bye Mwah.